Hi guys, it's Miss Austin again. Um, I'm here to show you this time some animal cells under the microscope. So right now I have my microscope in the ready position. You can't see it. All you can see is what the camera sees through the microscope. But my stage is all the way down and I have the red objective lens. The shortest objective lens is currently pointing down. I have a slide here. The slide that I have is some human cheek cells. And you may be saying, but Ms. Austin, you said we were going to look at animal cells. Don't forget that humans are animals. And so the cells that we have are very much similar to the cells that all animals have. So these particular cells come from the inside of someone's cheek. Uh, so to get these cells, you take like a, a popsicle stick or a toothpick and you just rub it inside in your mouth along your cheek. And a bunch of little cells come off when I was a kid. We used to actually get to do that ourselves. But even before the current situation, uh, people were worried about germs and we had stopped doing that. And they now sell prepared um, cheek cell um, slides, microscope slides. And so it's all sealed up so that none of the germs that this person might have had or diseases can possibly get to me. Um, it's in a plastic case right now. I'm going to open it and take it out, which you can't see. But that's what I'm doing. Putting down the plastic case. I'm now taking the slide and I'm laying it on the stage in front of the clips, I'm lifting the clips and sliding it in. And you may start to see something as I slide it over the hole. Ah, so we see some pink blotches, at least I do. I hope the camera's picking up on that. And I'm gonna try and make sure that my little pointer, my black line, that's all that is, by the way, guys, is a pointer. I'm gonna try and make sure that it's pointing, ooh, there's a very pink bunch right there. Try to make sure that it's pointing at a good pink bunch. All right, because what are, the tip of that pointer is the point we're going to be zooming in on. So for, if there's empty space at the tip of that pointer, then when we zoom in, we're going to see nothing but empty space. So we want to make sure that that pointer is pointing at um, actual cells and not empty space. Um, that's a, a, a rookie mistake on the microscope. So now that it's on and clipped down, I am going to raise the stage as far as it will go. All right, I'm going to just adjust my fine focus a little bit. And those guys are human cheek cells. So you'll notice already it's pretty different than what we saw with the elodia leaf. With the elodia leaf, we saw really straight lines and all the cells really fitting together neatly. And here we are seeing a much different picture. It's just like random clumps of cells. Um, and so the cell walls of plants tend to keep their cells really rigid and well-formed. And when we get pieces of them, we tend to get like chunks of put together cells, whereas human cells or animal cells in general uh, tend to break apart and become kind of loose individual. They don't fit together so neatly. And so we get um, clumps like this. So this is red. This is our lowest magnification on this particular microscope. Uh, red's not always lowest. It just is on this one. Um, I'm a little worried that I might be in a, a little bit of a dead zone there on the tippy tip of the pointer. So I'm just going to move a little bit to try and get a good spot. Sorry about this, guys. All right, I'm going to call that good. OK, so now make sure I have that right back in focus because I did put some pressure on the stage, which moved the stage a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to switch to yellow, which is the medium sized lens so we can see a little more. I'm going to refocus a little bit. Switching to fine focus. Nope, that's not good. There we go. Now we're starting to see some stuff. So you can kind of see if we look, I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer when I do this, but up above the needle, there's some clumps and you can see it really well. So I actually think I may try and move. It's hard to move when you're on this one. Everything's also backwards because of the camera. Okay, so I actually think I like this clump right here. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in on that one instead. All right, so this is kind of the, this is the medium magnification too far. Fine focus. All right, so that's what the human cells, the animal cells look like. I'm now going to zoom all the way in, use my highest magnification. All right, and here we can see our human cells. Again, I'm just gonna do some fine adjustments and there they are. Okay, so we have cells here. They're kind of stacked on top of each other. All right, so um, 
if you can see my pointer, this one is kind of on top of these others, but the little dark spots inside them, the small round dark spots, that's the nucleus of those cells. So that's where uh, your DNA is stored. That's kind of the, the brain of the cell. Um, there's no cell wall here. That's why they're all kind of different shapes and just kind of blobby. Um, we have cell membranes on animal cells, but we don't have cell walls. And so the shapes are a little looser um, and are a little less well-formed. That makes sense if you think about it. We have our skeleton and things to kind of give our body structure and keep it rigid. Plants only have um, their, their, their basic cells. They need that structure to come from the cells themselves. Uh, and not from like a separate system of skeleton. Your skeleton is also made of cells, you guys. But um, the, the plants just need all of their cells to fit together a little better than we do. So we have animal cells here, and this is what they look like. I'm gonna go back and take some pictures and post them on um, the slides in my slideshow a little later so that you can get a chance to really draw what you're seeing. But these are animal cells. Um, nice and pink like people's cheeks, although it is possible that these were dyed. Uh, that's something that's common to tent cells and when you're going to be looking at them under a microscope slide, just to make them a little more visible, especially if there's something that tends to be more clear. But because cheeks are pink and, um, or a lot of cheeks are pink, uh, these may not be dyed, I don't know. Um, so, animal cells, guys. Blobs, no cell walls, but still have a nucleus. Um, still, they, you'll notice they overlap. They don't fit together as nicely as plant cells either. All right. Bye, guys.